What is up, Duelist? It's your boy, Brendan, AK Drip, back with another video. Man, it has been a hot minute, I'm not gonna lie, and I do apologize about that. Um, I missed my DDD fam, but I'm glad I'm back with a new profile. This, this profile is something different. I've never had this deck slash engine on the channel. If you can't already tell by the thumbnail, it is Mech Knight. Not just regular Mech Knight, it's Invoke Mech Knight, which I'll dive into more than that and later in the video. Um, but to start things off, I do apologize. I know some of y'all DD fam is probably going to be like, Drip, come on, man. Another Invoked deck profile of some kind of, uh, something has to do with Invoked. I'm sorry, okay? I can't help it. I'm in love with this freaking engine archetype whatever you want to call it ever since i first started messing with it man i'm telling you it, I, I can't stop i love it i'm sorry and this deck and alone i've been wanting to build this deck for a while and it's just been like one of those decks that you see out of like the corner out of your eye and you're like hmm i don't need it i don't need it i definitely don't need it i don't need it Yeah, so, and then I just decided to build it. And I'm telling you this right now. This deck is so much fun. I'm telling you, this deck is dangerous if it goes unchecked. Seriously. Um, the reason why I decided to go with the Invoke variant is not just the fact that I like Invoked a lot. I love it. It's also the fact that myself personally... I feel like the, the pure variant needs prosperity. It really needs prosperity because it needs to dig for its its cards. So, and I do not have access to that card right now. So, I decided to play this because I don't own prosperity, and I feel like without prosperity, the pure has more of a struggle to go first. If that makes sense, because it can't dig for gear sue and other starters like that so i wanted to build the invoke variant which i feel like personally just my personal opinion it is more versatile of being able to go first and second granted the pure variant is probably it probably is more potent going second than this build is but this is the perfect balance between good and evil so but um yeah i've been playing with this deck for a few weeks now uh, I'm my one of my peeps down at um, locals wanted me to put a list together for him, and I did, and that's what actually got me hooked. Fun fact. So I'm new to the Mech Knight game. I've owned Mech Knights for a while. I've played them in a few profiles, but it's like just splashing them in there as like engines and stuff. Nothing really too serious. Um, but when I put this list together for him, I fell in love with the deck. I fell in love with what like it can do and how fun it is actually to go second even though we can go first or second but let's go ahead and get into this profile um start off obviously we got three alistair boy um it's alistair pretty self-explanatory if you know the deck you know you know what it does um and now this uh, one thing I will say is my lineup on cards is probably going to, some of y'all are not going to understand and some of y'all will not like it. Please don't hit the dislike button just because you don't like one or two video, uh, cards I don't have. I'll explain my reasons for it and it actually works out for me. So for my Mech Knight lineup, it's actually not standard at all. Um, that's actually what has worked for me. So I do apologize if it offends you. Uh, <laughs> I got three purple two blue and this is where it gets crazy okay i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry ahead of time uh one in indigo one yellow and one gear suit okay don't exit chat yet peeps all right this is my reasoning obviously purple is purple blue is blue you want to freaking just plus through the roof with blue and these guys are your best guys um i'm not running desires or anything like that so one indigo is fine one shifty boy um my locals is actually really really potent on back row so that's why i opted to play the yellow on top of that um i feel like yellow even if like your locals isn't really that big on 
back row, I still feel like yellow is mandatory, personally. I know a lot of people don't, and they just run three, two, one. That's it. I understand that, but I want more Mech Knights names because I'm telling you, even with this lineup, <clears throat> in other ways that we can get to my Mech Knights, I never saw enough Mech Knights, honestly. I never did. Um, so yellow actually came in clutch. I, he's, <laughs> he's, he's like improving to be one of my favorite mech knights that I like because he's just, he comes in clutch so much. And then Gearsu himself, I just, I opted to keep him in here because there are some situations, definitely when you go second, that he is a better normal summon than Alistair. Because Alistair will only get you to like a Macabre or something like that. Or if you have a fusion and grave, you can get to, um... Uh, Aguades, Aquades, or whatever. So, he, this card is also a one-card Dragoon, too, because we are running the Dragoon package. I'm sorry. Don't get mad. But, no, this card is, a, like, indirectly a better normal summon going second than your um, Alistair. And on top of that, it's searchable through your five searchers, pretty much with your Magnites in blue and purple. So, I opted to keep it in there because I like the utility that this card brings to the table for the Magnite archetype. So, and I would not switch my lineup at all. I tried running um, um, red because I like red too. And I know some of y'all do and some of y'all don't. But I opted to cut the red because there's too many cards nowadays that can't be, monsters wise, that can't be destroyed by card effects. So I would rather just, um, I opted to cut red for uh, Gearsu himself because Gearsu can get me to um, my lib. And lib can just shuffle whatever I need, to be, uh, need back. Or I can just use, if I needed to pop a monster, I'd just make Dragoon and pop them and get a, even more of a plus by burning them. So, that's my line. That's my reasoning behind that. Now for other extenders slash um, board breakers. Um, I got the World Legacy Crown, which is what we send, We can send off of um, Gearsu. I opted to play this instead of Chalice. In this variant, because Chala, we don't run enough World Legacy cards to really fully plus off of Crown. I mean, not Crown, but Chalice. And this is also Extender and Negate at the same time. So even if you get stopped, you just link um, uh, Alistair off into Amirage and Special this to Amirage's zone. So, and then you could either keep this on board or you can, that can go into your Anaconda to make your Dragoon. So that's my reasoning for that. Um, it, it, it's worked wonders for me. I try to minimize on bricks as much as I can. <clears throat> now for my own little secret spicy tech that I like, and I probably won't cut it because I will go ahead and go on a limb here and say this deck does not run, it's a very, very low hand trap count. This is not hand trap my opponent to death or main deck a bunch of hand traps and hope that the hand traps that I decided to run will uh, uh, counter my opponent's deck even though I don't know what they're playing. I just want to break boards and I want to OTK or establish my control of the game. So, and what that card is, is I often play two Cyber Dragon because it's so free. It is so free, it's ridiculous. Um, I'm also running Pankertops too. Um, Pankertops is an honorary mech knight. Uh, you'd be silly not to play it. Uh, Cyber Dragon comes in clutch. Definitely when you special it, your opponent starts geeking because if you're going second, you drop Cyber Dragon on them. <clears throat> they really think you're playing Cyber Dragon. Definitely with this next card that I show, uh, opted to run, and I'll, uh, I'll get more into that after I show you. I opted to play Jizz too, Jizzakiru, um, for many reasons. So if you have these two, your opponent is pretty much convinced at that point that you're playing Cyber Dragon, so in all reality, you're not. And the reason why I chose to play this instead of the uh, wind one is for two reasons. One, he's bigger. Two, um, he's a machine, which I'll get to that in a second. And um, three, he's big. And uh, you can pretty much, if you can get in Dragoon and you have this, you drop this on them, you, this and Dragoon will OTK. Because you just use Dragoon to pop this and you just attack with Dragoon pretty much for game. And whatever other extender you have. On top of that, uh, we are running... Um, the um, uh, Mega Fleet for this as well. So um, it helps out stealing stuff in the extra deck. And then we're also playing another spicy card too that I'll show you more later when we get into the uh, profile uh, if you haven't already guessed it. Um, but that's it for that lineup. Now on to the rest of the monsters. The rest of the monsters we got uh, 
pretty much standard. We got three Ash. Ash is just too generic not to run it. Um, and then I'm running the Dragoon package. Um, Dragoon is just Dragoon, and it helps this deck out so much and by helping us establish a turn one board outside of just Makava or Kaliga. So, um, like Dragoon plus Kaliga or Dragoon with Makabas, it's it's eh going first. It, it's usually enough, definitely with Dragoon being Dragoon. So that's it for the, uh, the uh, monsters and secondary uh, engines. Now onto the spells. Uh, the spells, is, uh, the first part is going to be pretty much obvious. Uh, three Meltdown and one Terraforming. you got to get the Alistair as fast as you can if you can't don't have Gearsu. Then you got two Invocations. Uh, invocation is Invocation. I'm going to zoom in for you guys a little bit. Yeah, Invocation is Invocation, obviously. Um, run an Invoke deck, I have Invocation. Um, then I opted to run... Uh, droplets, droplets is droplets. Um, talents, talents is so freaking good with this deck. If I could run three, if I own three, I would, but I do not own three. Um, if you have three of this card, run it. And I feel like the deck is not really playable without these cards because these cards apply to so much pressure and they help you break boards so much. Definitely talents more so than, um, droplets. Uh, moving on to the rest of the spells, we have, um, two, I'm, I opted to run two, two memory because the lock doesn't really matter that much. Definitely when you can activate on your opponent's turn and it gives you pretty much instant, instant access to your gear suit pretty much. So it's in directly to extra copies of gear suit or whatever mech knight you want. Um, and then the last spell of the deck is obviously, uh, succession, um, for the obvious reasons for the gear suit combo or just a free extender. Um, that's that's pretty much that for the spells. On to the traps. Uh, the traps is we're we're in a column based deck, so we like we like uh, columns, and that's uh, impermanence. Impermanence helps us uh, collapse with columns on our opponent. But when you set this, and on top of that, it's just a uh, it's just a free hand trap. That since talents is going around a lot, they can't use talents because this is a trap and not a monster. And it's just impermanent, so it's finding its way back into the format like it usually does. It only stays out for a while. And then the last card in the entire deck is World Legacy Secrets. Secrets is nasty. Definitely once you get them uh, going with the um, um, the Gear Suit combo and the Indigo Eclipse and stuff. Um, I know a lot of my uh, card choices, some of y'all are not going to understand, but I... I really like this build so far, and there's not anything I would really change. Um, on to the extra deck. The extra deck, we got the obviously we got the window, to, uh, window field center. There you go. We got the World Legacy tokens. I actually found these in my bulk, and I was like, man, that's just too too good not to not to run. Oh, this is actually the side deck. I do sorry. I'm do apologize. Um, there you go. Gotta put him with his thing, bro. I gotta put him with his thing. Uh, then again, we got the Lynx. Obviously, we got the Amirage. Secure Gardena. Lib. Okay. Uh, cross Sheep. I just I often run Cross Sheep because it can resurrect whatever you need. Your Gearsu. Um, your Kaliga. Whatever you see fit. It's a level four. Um, and then this is on this next one. I know a lot of people are going to be like, wow, what's the point? It actually comes in clutch for me, at least. I really like it. And there's nothing else that I'd want to put in its place right now. And that is, I run one morning star. Um, I never find myself needing more than, more than one since I'm running the invoked variant, but there is times where even with this build, I do want one morning star so I can get to my, whatever I need. Because if I open too many mech knights, I would like to still, be able to if I want to open to me mech knights and I want to play it as if pure mech knights because that does happen sometimes because Yu Gi Oh is Yu Gi Oh you you'll open you'll play five games and not draw a single mech knight then you'll play one game and open like a half your freaking archetype a half your uh, mech knight engine um, and then uh, last link is obviously uh, Anaconda because Anaconda is Anaconda we do run the Dragoon package so why not uh, that's it for the links um, 
this extra deck, I really like it. And there's not anything I would change. I've been working on this extra deck for a hot minute since like for the past two weeks and play testing a lot. And I, I like it where it's at. Um, I got two, uh, two Macaba. You never need more than two. The game will be over by that point. Um, one Raijin cards coming up in the world is one of my favorite invoked cards. And then invoked VFD because it's fun. And then I want to break your board and OTK you with one card or interrupt you on your own turn. And this next card, I actually was running Avramax for instead of this card. And I can never get into Avramax because I was always OTKing with Dragoon before. So I was like, huh, I'll just cut the Avramax for more of a utility card. And ever since I did, I, was, I felt really stupid the fact that I never ran this card before instead of running Avramax. And that is uh, Perg. Definitely with like Ash running around or Salads running around, you could just snipe whatever you want out of the grave, out of their grave, because it's our graveyard. So, and Perg is, is it's, it's Invoke Conductor Tyranno, on, but it's ours. It's Invoke Conductor Tyranno, pretty much. So, uh, one Perg, one Dragoon, obviously. And then the two spicy cards of uh, my extra deck is um if i can get my extra deck to move out of the way the one mega fleet and the one fortress obviously if you didn't already guess yes the fortress because we are running the cyber dragon and we are running the jizakiru if we can't get into dragoon but we do have the cyber dragon on board we could just absorb the kaiju that we gave our opponent with uh fortress on top of that, Cyber Dragon as itself, as a pure deck, has actually been making a way as... I mean, it's always been around the rogue category, but it's been picking up steam as in popularity because of the bandwagon people have been hopping on it. Um, unlike a lot of us who's been playing Cyber Dragon for a hot minute. But either way, uh, with this card and that Cyber Dragon, you can just you can drop Jizakiru on their Dragoon and just take their whole board with, with Fortress. So you just pretty much wipe their whole board with one card and then you can like put this up top in the extra monster zone to manipulate columns to uh, proceed to OTK. So it's really good in that in that regard. Um, I There's nothing in this extra deck that I would actually change. I love this extra deck. It's worked, it's very versatile for me. It's worked, it's worked wonders. Um, but that's the deck guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, but it, Please drop a like, hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Uh, Discord, PayPal, and everything is in the link below. Um, get close to the DD fam with the Discord. We're all really nice peeps down there. Um, we all help each other out, and we just, just want to build a giant family. That's all we. That's all. That's all I ask because I just want to be one giant family. So, but again, I hope you all enjoy this video. Uh, be on the lookout for upcoming deck profiles. Um, I actually like this set that just dropped the dawn of majesty so i got a bunch of cards out of that that i myself enjoy so i have a couple of updated deck profiles and one new deck profile itself coming out so be on the lookout for that so hit that subscribe button hit the bell notification so you never miss an upload and i'll see you guys in the next video you guys have a wonderful day night morning evening whenever you're watching this video hope you guys are staying safe out there in the age of covid and good dueling my guys Drip out. Peace.